Hey guys, it's coming. I'm back with another MC5 live, and it, again, it's been a while. I apologize for that on the lack of videos. Um, but basically, what happened was uh, two and a half weeks ago, I was gonna make videos, and I had a very, very sore throat. So I went to the doctor, and ended up having strep, which is just fantastic. It's exactly what you want to have when you're sick. Um, so I had that and it was just awful. I couldn't make any videos. I was in t way too much pain. Uh, and I had like, I think one or two videos, um, like ready to go already. Just had to edit them and then upload them. But I didn't get a chance to because I went out of town and I just, it was, I lost track of time. So I packed, I went out of town for two weeks and now I'm back. Um, slowly going to be back, you know, into the swing of things. I know some, you know, games already got some updates. So I'm slowly catching up, but bear with me, please. Uh, but anyways, so... MC5 just got an update actually today, um, so I thought we might as well go with this and then, you know, we'll go to the other games as well. But, so MC5 got a pretty big update. So we got the patch notes here, and just from the get-go, so right now it's live on iOS, it's pending release on Android and Windows. So tomorrow it should be for Android and sometime next week for Windows. Um, and so there's a brand new class, the Marauder, which, um, there are now a total of 10 classes in this game. So I assume this is going to be the last one, which is, which is good. Um, honestly, I think there's way too many classes as is, but I guess if you think about it, all the games that are coming out now, or I guess relatively new games, um, they have these kind of heroes or kind of classes where there's just different kind of aspects and it makes the battlefield just more interesting than just like a regular soldier in a way. Um, but anyway, so the Marauder, he is a dual wielding mercenary. Uh, and if we go out and actually take a look at him, um, he looks pretty awesome, man. Uh, honestly, when I looked at him, like, his, just his mask, it looks like a beekeeper. Honestly, am I the only one who thought that? I don't know. But, anyway, so he's dual-wielding mercenary. He's got no secondary, so you cannot use a secondary on this guy. You got a T1, T2, T3, all the way to prestige, and then the smart prestige. So, just a ton to ton of weapons. And, as per usual, guys, with this, um, sort of trend with the MC5 updates that I do, is we're gonna go over the update. This video, you'll also get, um, a look at the first weapon. And then, um, and then I'll sort of do lives on each of the, of the other weapons. Um, so you guys can kind of look at them and <clears throat> take a gander at them. Um, there's also a new pro tournament game mode. Um, so you'll be facing off opponents with either no cores or no prestige weapons. And you can use tickets to sign up for the match. So sort of just more of like a more competitive standpoint for the game. Um, there's now new prestige weapon skins. So apparently the prestige weapons have a specific skin you can now get. Which... I don't know, I mean, like, you can do this, like, it looks really cool, but, like, there's a way to, um, there's a way to get, like, a special, like, custom one. It may, it may not be released yet, but regardless, there's that, and then some new golden weapons, which will be out in the shop hub, which you guys know is over here, so there's already, like, the golden BMF-12, which basically all they do is that if you get a kill, well, first of all, it's a really nice gold, second of all, like, if you get a kill, your name will be highlighted golden, so it's kind of a neat little cosmetic there. Um, and then a huge huge thing honestly guys if you guys are youtubers I highly recommend this there is now a content creator program Which is really really good. They might have had something in the past, but this program It seems like honestly when I read it is a little over the top like it's a little insane So basically I'll put the link down in the description But basically once you go to this site and you sign up for it You kind of put down your YouTube channel how many subs you got why um, what makes you good like for this program the benefits is you get early access to new content, which they're still going to be rolling out for this game. Um, you're going to be getting exclusive tailor-made assets, so if you need, like... Like, if I if I want this character, just like, just this character, like, transparent, like, for a thumbnail, you're, you're going to get that. You can get sneak peek tournaments uh, with the devs. You'll get regular live chats with the game team. I think you'll be invited to a Discord server, uh, and you'll be able to talk with the game team every now and then. You'll be able to reward your, your viewers, like, with some currency or, you know cosmetics or whatever it might be and then you also get rewards for channel growth so basically the rewards are as follow i'll put it you know like an image right here which is honestly insane so if you get 2,000 subscribers you get a weekly giveaways that you'd be able to do for subscribers 5,000 you get permanent power user which means no energy uh and all t6 weapons 10,000 you get an in-game partner mask 20,000 you get all the classes unlocked if you don't have them already uh, 50,000 you get all in-game content unlocked by packs, except the prestige, which is pretty insane. Now for views, now if you do a video for MC5, 
Uh, and you have to be like a part of this um, program, I believe. Like you put like a special link in your description, I believe. So once your first video to hit 5,000 views, once you get that, you'll get 10 armor and 10 weapon packs. At 10,000 views, you'll get 10 armor and 10 weapon packs for subscriber like giveaways. Uh, for 20,000, you'll get a prestige weapon reward for a subscriber, you know, giveaway. 50,000, you'll get an in-game trinket that goes on your weapons that will be designed and named after your channel, which is pretty crazy. And then, if you get lucky enough and you get really big and your video really kicks off and you get 150,000 views, you'll get an in-game armor that is designed and named, like, after you. Which is pretty insane, honestly. I kind of want that. Honestly, who would not want a Beanie and Schemer armor? Like, come on now. Um, but anyways... And aside from that, there'll be some more daily rewards as well as they kind of up the graphics. So if you actually go to settings here and go to audio and GFX, um, there is now an SSAO in Bloom, which you can now put. Uh, and, I mean, aside from these, I'll tell you guys what they are in a second. But aside from these, there's also, um, they say like other effects include eye adaptation, lens flare, as well as generally better elimination on weapons. So just a better, you know, a better graphical, you know, update for this game so basically ssao is this only this, these two only work if if you're on a pretty good device for some reason on my iphone 10 it was a little bit laggy when i had them on but my ipad pro is handling him just fine for whatever reason so ssao is screen space ambient occlusion which essentially it's like i i googled it it says it, it approximates bright light um like how it how bright light would be shining on specific parts of a surface light or like environment just better lighting and then bloom is more of like a glow and like you'll notice it like if you look at the sun or something it'll be very very like you know much glow um and it's it's just be better graphics it's just you know the term for it so i'm gonna have those on you guys will definitely notice like it's not something you won't notice you'll definitely notice it um and then aside from that um i did notice this there's like a cool like community thing you can do now so basically all these little items on the bottom that says claim you guys can actually get all this stuff here if you like, uh, I believe like here, like if I press claim, it says if you contribute with $3, you'll be able to get everything that is like followed here and you know, whatever happens next. So you'll get like all these, you get a trinket, you get a blueprint, armor, like all these things, which is pretty nice. Now, um, I kind of skimmed over the class, so let's go over that really quickly. So the Marauder, I upgraded him completely. Um, and all of his weapons, I think I upgraded every single weapon completely except for one. So, for this guy, he's got some pretty interesting perks. He's got accuracy increases for 2% for each kill. Um, and then your, your bonus loss each death. So, the more kills you get, the more accuracy you'll get. Um, first two enemy hits... You, the first two enemies that hit you receive 25% um, less damage to you. Which is pretty nice. And then when you upgrade it, it's four enemies. Um... Now, you do get a little perk with this, so once you activate it, it lasts forever. And basically, it gives you 20% bonus on rate of fire on any of his weapons, um, but you'll have a penalty of 20% accuracy. So, you can activate it, and if you deactivate it, like, mid, you know, gunfight or something, you'll have to go on a cooldown. Uh, bullseye, your headshots do, um, with dual pistols, have a 10% chance for additional 20 damage. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, what's really cool is that... You can actually pick up other weapons, so if, if I'm with this class and I pick up an assault rifle, I can have all these perks, which is pretty interesting. So I can have the KOG pick it up, increase my rate of fire by 20% and destroy everyone, if I wanted to. Um, so damage increased by 5% for each 1% under 35% of your health. That's just confusing. Uh, blur vision, so enemies hurt by you, um, inflict 50% less damage to you, which is awesome. Uh, this is the arc fire upgrade, and then allies within 15 minutes... Uh, 15 meters you will get a bonus rate of fire of 10 percent it's very nice honestly just a really good um accuracy it, it, some of the weapons no but you know anyways so the other thing i wanted to show you guys is um actually here you know what? i don't want to make this video too long but let's go and do this so this is t1 which is the rvk 09 we got the rack 32 we got the run 91 the proc the ton uh the rock the Zek, the Hansel, or Hans and Gretz, which is Hansel and Gretel, and then the Chasm Pole, which is very nice. So, we'll go over each of the weapons, guys, uh, but for this video, we'll do the T1. And the other thing I wanted to mention, guys, uh, I noticed it wasn't in the patch yet. So, there's actually some new cores. Now, if you guys aren't a fan of cores, I understand. Cores, honestly, to me, I think it's just like, I mean, it gives you like a buff, and then for some people that don't have it, just it kind of sucks, but it's just like, 
it's just an extra like layer of complexity in this game which is like like i don't know i'm more of a simplistic guy but you know might as well just show you guys it so you guys know so armor core so if you go like i went to this one which you can choose whichever one you want if you go to utility there's a new one it's called fast reload it changes the way you reload your weapons and does it in 1.4 seconds so it says it changes the way you reload and i had to ask about this basically with my dual wield, you know, you'll drop the, you know, the magazines and you'll reload them each one by one. With this, you'll literally just drop down your guns and pick it up in like 1.4 seconds. So it changes the way you reload the gun. And honestly, it's a must for this class. Some of the weapons reload really slow. So this one literally, it's like instant. And it's honestly, but since you have rate of fire buffs and stuff with these weapons, you're going to need that, honestly. And then the other ones, I just have increased damage output by 4%. I have this on all my classes that, you know, that have this class. So... We'll go over each of the weapons, guys. It's a lot, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's really... It, it, like, I've, I've tried the weapons, all of them, and they're freaking awesome. <laughs> but you're going to see, like, some of them are just garbage. Like, I don't understand. Just, they're garbage. But uh, anyways, okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'll just skip over to when the game's there. So I'll see you guys there. All right, let's do this. So we're going to be using the T1 here. Uh, trust me, I'm not going to remember the names. But you guys remember, I have the Bloom and the new, like, the SSAO on. Uh, as well as just my field of views, just all the way, you know, which I like it this way. But anyways, so you definitely notice the graphics, like, the Bloom is a lot better. Just the lighting. It, essentially, it's just the lighting's better, is what you all need to know. So, all right, we got, like, a full game here. Let's just do it. And then the perk will let me increase my rate of fire if I would like. Excuse me, buddy. Oh, well, thank you for taking my kills. And you guys see, there you go. That reloading. That's not a normal reload. That is just... Oh, God. And that's my rate of fire little buff. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. And he got me. Um, Dude, I still have yet to try the ver power. Like, that gun is so good. Um, Anyways. So, yeah, so I can activate this whenever I want. It'll lower my accuracy, but my rate of fire will be increased by a bit, which is nice. Oh, God. Am I reloading? Honestly, guys, that core is a must for this class. Like, look at that, dude. It. I don't know how it reloads other weapons, but here, let me try, actually. Okay, maybe it does not work with the weapons. Okay, the reload only works. <laughs> the reload core only works. I think with the dualies. All right then. Yes, I just shot at that distance. It's not ideal, but uh, I did it, man. That gun is gonna destroy me in any any situation, man. That gun is freaking good. There you go. Yeah, that guy. Oh man, T1 is not gonna cut it. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. We gotta catch up here. Ooh, careful, dude. Ow. Where'd that come from? I got him, buddy. Don't worry. I gotta get up here. Well, at least I got him out. Yeah, this is a terrible idea, guys, to do at this range. So don't do what I just did. Uh, I'm trying, man. I need to get closer. Freaking hard to get over there, man. Let me see if I can. I think on their screen, I do turn, like, bluish when this happens. Ew! Wow, dude. Wow. Wow, wow dude. Just wow. Alright, I gotta be careful here. I don't want to get shot in the back. Oh, come on now. What are you doing? Alright, we got them all? Sweet. That guy's probably going to come up. Oh, there he is. God, dude. I am really just... I'm not feeling it. <laughs> another way of... Guys, that's just another way of saying this gun sucks. 
It on any class. Except the saber, man. Saber is freaking a god weapon. Alright. Let's get back up there. Where are they at? Where are they at, man? And another bomber. Look at that, dude! Look at that! What? What kind of garbage was that? I know that was like medium range, but come on now. Well, that guy just killed himself. Alright, guys. Well, as long as you win. As long as you win, man. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. He's behind me. Damn it. The ver power is so good, man. It's so good. Oh, I'm gonna get the last kill. Never mind. Okay, well, there you guys have it. So basically, just an overview of the update. We managed to win. Um, this gun sucks. So <laughs> I even have the core to give me like bonus damage, and I upgrade all the way. This is like I upgrade all the weapons. So you know this gun sucks. <laughs> Anyways, so. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I've been kind of away for a while, but I'll be back with some videos um, hopefully soon. So I've been kind of, you know, relaxing from, you know, back from my trip. Because um, literally when I was on my trip, there was just parties like every day. Like just with family stuff. So I'm back um, hanging out with my girlfriend and just kind of settling down before I really get back into the swing of things. So just bear with me for a couple days. And uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.